Hey, what's up guys? It's Dwayne with Fish Driven. Um, today we're going to go ahead and go over some of the stuff I've been using. Um, especially when I do uh, my bridge fishing. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, the setups that I have and the cart that I pull. And my kayak fishing is totally different than what I do when I go bridge fishing. It's a total set, different setup, different rods and everything. So, but in this session today, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what I do when I go bridge fishing. All right, stay tuned. Thank you for liking and subscribing to Fish Driven. My name is Dwayne and uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna talk a little bit about this cart here. Um, this is the cart I use when I go do my bridge fishing. Um, I did customize it a little bit. These tires did not come with this cart. Uh, those are beach tires, Malone beach tires. They're, they're good for the sand, um, easier ride. The cart did come with a basket for your bait and stuff like that. Rod holders, there's like three of these that came with it. I didn't put them on there, but. So this is the fundamental basic cart that you get. And now when you're ready, you can add your stuff and you know, whatever you're trying to do, it may be bring it around so it moves very easy it goes over a lot of terrain easy especially when you get in the soft sand those tires save you a lot sorry guys let me pull this out but uh yeah so this is a cart just bare when I uh, pack things up I'll show you guys what it looks like and uh, how I uh, get around with it but for the most part when uh, I'm doing my fishing from bridges or wherever it would be the beach wherever I'm going this is what I primarily take with me all right all right so now let's talk about my fishing poles so these are the primary poles that I take when I do bridge fishing they all have their own reasoning and what they're good for. So this is how they sit in the cart. And as like I said, easy to get around. So I'm gonna go over these poles with you, let you know what they're what I use them for, and uh go from there. Alright guys, so we're in my garage now. So these are the three rods I use. Let's go in depth real quick with this one first. That's that I have here on the grip. This is a crowder rod this is my heavy to medium setup this is uh, just in case I get a really big fish and the light setup can't handle them this is what I jump to when I'm from the bridge it I mean it does what it's supposed to do um, very sturdy rod um, this is not a really a beginner's rod it's more of a I would say medium to advanced rod it's this rod's gonna probably run you anywhere from 220 bucks to and up so but this reel is a nice little reel that I got and I believe it is uh why am I pulling the blank from it now a Sparrows this is a Sparrows reel this is a 6000 edition which is pretty good it uh it'll handle uh what it needs to handle when uh you know, I've caught really big groupers on it, so for the price, you can't beat this reel, too. This reel is under 200 bucks, so, you know, that's one of the reels that I use. This is my heavy, medium, what I would say, setup reel going on here on this one. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so here now we have my other setup, which is a light, medium setup. Um, this is a Vanford fishing reel from Shimano. It is one of their lightest reels out there. Um, and it gets the job done. Fought a lot of fish on it, a lot of big fish. And then I have that paired up with a Chavala rod, which is also a Shimano rod. Um, this setup is like one of the best setup. I do use this dually. I do have this setup on my kayak also. And also when I go bridge fishing. It's just, it's just an amazing setup where I use this when I uh, go out there and do what I need to do all right and this is the Vanford 5000 and I have it paired up with a Chavala uh, 
medium light. Um, no, it's actually just a straight medium action rod. So that's it. All right, so now here we have the smaller version for the first rod that I showed you, which was the big Spheros. This is a 4,000, the one I showed you was a 6,000. So I actually love these reels because they're quote unquote a budget reel, but they get the job done and they're super light. And this is also a Shimano reel. Um, as you can see, this rod is a little bit beat up. It's been through a lot, but it is also another, it's exactly like the same rod that I just showed you on the Vanford, which is a Travala uh, rod which is a medium action rod so kind of love that kind of setup especially for bridge fishing you know they're super light it's not too heavy and get the job done all right and this is a sparrows 4000 reel if you're interested in. i think you can't go wrong with this setup right here it's it's like for what you want to do if you want to do like trout fishing snook fishing snapper fishing this uh, just meets all of it you know so all right let's go to the next one all right and now for the last reel this is my super ultra light setup this uh, i use for like pompano jigging which i'm kind of getting into now and like you know trout all that stuff it's it's really good but it's very very light you need something with a light tip this is a glf shimano glf rod very light um and then I'm pairing that up with a Shimano Nascus reel, which is a really good reel. And it's just for, if you want to go out there and start just jigging, jigging nonstop where you're just moving your hands, you need something light and that's not gonna, you know, weigh, weigh down on you eventually. So this is that setup I have for that. I don't really use it as much, but I'm starting next year. I'm definitely gonna be more into pompano fishing. I think and this is the setup I'm gonna be using um, when I do my pompano fishing but all in all as you can see I'm a big fan of Shimano I've been fishing with them for a very long time um, they hold up their stuff yeah they're very expensive but I like the fact that they're light and they hold up all right stay tuned so we'll get back into the cart and putting everything together and showing you what it looks like when all is said and done all right, we're gonna talk about my tackle that I got. So this here is a bag that I grabbed from Walmart. By far one of the best tackle bags that I've ever had. Um, I've thrown this thing all over the place. It's been on the ground everywhere and it holds up and it's got a lot of stuff in it. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown of what I, hold, what I got going on in the bag. Um, so it does come with tackle boxes. It's, a small tackle box. I got my hooks and my sinkers in this one. And then I got some lures and some other stuff in this one. And it's a very decent bag. It's an Ozark trail bag, tackle bag. And I mean, I got this thing full with a bunch of tackle hooks, everything that, you know, anything that I come across out there that I, that I want to use it for pretty much got it all I mean it's not the greatest organized right now but it gets the job done so yeah so for the most part I just you know kind of have a tackle box for like my lures and my uh, my um, pompano jigs and stuff like that which as I said I'm starting to get into and it comes with those slots you just slide them in kind of like that in. It has a pocket here, a mesh pocket on this side where, as I said, I got a bunch of hooks and lures and stuff that I keep right there. And you zip that up, keep that intact, and then also now, sorry, also now this is my small tackle box where I keep all my hooks and uh and sinkers and stuff for easy access. So when I go fishing, this is the box that I pretty much for the most part have out sitting down. So if I bust off or whatever it may be, I am ready to go. I just access it right there. So, and like I said, this, this, this bag just holds a lot and it's great. It's like a nice little book bag. Um, got a little side pocket here. Got a little 
fake little first aid kit kind of situation with band-aids and stuff. You never know when you get a little cut. I got some hooks on the side of that. Um, on this side, it's just a, a water bottle holder right here. Water bottle holder. And then you have the back portion where I keep all my scissors, my pliers, and all my fluorocarbon. Because as I said, like I like the fact that it's this quick access. I could just grab it if I need to tie up and just go from there with that. So that's just a quick synopsis of my uh, my book bag here, my tackle bag. But for I've had this for probably, I want to say about maybe a year and a half now. And it's it's just it's it's holding up really good. As I said, it's been through a lot. So I would advise if someone looking for a tackle bag, this thing, man, it's in the Walmart. It's fairly priced. Um, I would go along with this. I, I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm just being honest. What works? And this works. All right, cool. Let's uh, put everything together on the cart and see what it looks like when I'm getting ready to roll. All right guys, so now I'm getting the cart together. All right, so I kind of showed you a little bit of everything that I have, and this is how I get my cart together when I'm getting ready to go tackle those bridges or the beach or wherever it may be that I'm going. So first thing, tackle box. Drop it in the cart, that's it, ready to go. And I do take um, a cast net with me always have a cast net so i have this cast net here it's a eight eight foot uh i want to say uh a quarter net and also i do take another cast net with me just to make sure that i cover all bases and that's another eight foot and uh that's a three eighths right and um this is my little live well that if I want to keep stuff, like if I catch bait fish and stuff, I could keep them alive in this. So that goes in there. And next thing up is my cooler bag. This is where I put all my fish in. It's a pretty nice cooler bag. Uh, it's very insulated, very rugged, you know, go all over the place. So that goes kind of right there with some ice in it. And then. ready to go. So, you got the pole in, the rod holders, that's it. I'm a one man fishing machine, fish driven, let's go. And that's it, you just toggle it around. It's heavy, it's like still light. You can push it with just one hand. So, again, guys, as always, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I know it's been a while, I got a lot going on, but I'm trying to hit it again. Um, thank you for looking at all my tackle that I use. I hope it was helpful for somebody. And uh, feel free to hit me up in the comment section if you have any questions about what I use or what I do. And uh, Thanks again for watching Fish Driven. Let's go catch some fish because we're fish driven. Have a good one. God bless.